Hey guys, in this lesson we gonna talk about how to get started with prototyping and just gonna look at the basic interface. Let's have a look at the basic interface. So the first thing we see as we open the Figma project is a big canvas where you go creative with all the design solutions and where you create those beautiful animations. The canvas is the main area where we're gonna focus for prototyping. On the left hand side of our interface, we have mainly our layers. So basically layers are something which make up a whole design. So for example, here you can see we have like two different artboards, uh, 01 New Delhi and 02 Berlin. And artboards inside Figma are called frames. And inside the frames, we have all the layers. Like for example, if we talk about 01 New Delhi, we have cloud image, shadow, dots, location and content same goes for the another artboard or another frame so for berlin we have sun image shadow dots location content so basically the point here is layers are very important when you work with prototypes and animation because if your layers are not named properly then it might create a lot of confusion and the animation will not work so as a good practice always name your layers properly when you're designing of course otherwise you have to rename it and it's gonna take a lot of time so always name your layers properly when you are designing so now let's have a look at the right hand side of a figma's interface so on the right hand side we can see we have a design panel next we have a prototype panel and then we have an inspect panel so i hope you guys are familiar with the design panel we are not going to talk about the design panel much and we're going to focus entirely on prototype panel and this is where the magic happens. Also, there's an inspect panel which is used for developers handoff. So now let's get back to prototype panel. And here we are inside prototype panel. And inside the prototype panel, we have interactions, we have overflow behavior or scrolling. And then we have some tips for creating a connection and running a prototype. Also, we have show prototype settings. For now, let's focus on our interactions bit. So as you can see here, we have two frames here and how we can quickly create a prototype from frame one to frame two. So let's get started. On the frame one, if you have selected the prototype panel, you can see a circular node on the right hand side of the frame. So you can see here circular node. As I hover on the circular node, you get this plus icon. Click on that icon and drag the arrow to the second frame. So that's the first interaction. As you will add a connection to second frame, you will get this small pop-up box called interaction details. What does these interaction details mean? So basically when we create a connection between two frames, Figma will automatically ask us the first question, which is what is the trigger point here? So from the interaction details, we have this first option which says like on click. And that means Figma by default is selecting the on click trigger, but we can change it. And here are all the options. We have on click, we have drag trigger, we have hovering trigger, pressing, key gamepad, mouse enter or leave, mouse up and down and after delay. So basically these are all the trigger points which you can tell Figma and based on that Figma will take input and then the animation will happen. For now we can keep it as it is. After telling Figma what trigger this uh, animation will be based on, Figma will ask another thing which is like what will happen based on this trigger. So we need to tell Figma what will happen when I click on frame 1, whether that frame will navigate to frame 2 or another overlay will open or scrolling will happen or like nothing will happen or like another link will open up. So for now we will just focus on the navigate to and we are navigating to frame 2 and that is 02 Berlin. So we are navigating from 01 to 02 only when the trigger is on click or tap. So basically yeah that's it and the animation here is instant we're gonna talk about the animation in the next set of lessons for now let's keep it instant and close this so we are ready to go this is the first prototype and i'm very excited so let's see it in action so we just close it and in the prototype panel you can see inside interactions we have added a new interaction and it says the trigger is click and we are moving from 01 to 02 berlin also, you can remove this interaction by clicking on the minus button. So now let's preview our animation. So for previewing our animation, you can see on the main toolbar, on the right hand side, we have this small play icon which says present. Click on the play icon and 
it will load for a moment and we have a design here so let's interact with the design so our trigger was click so let's click on the design and the animation is happening so you can see we clicked on frame 1 and another frame automatically or instantly came up and it's a very basic prototype we are combining two screens we are setting a trigger point as on click and animation is instant there is no fade in or fade out we're gonna talk about it soon but for now you get an idea right so let's quickly summarize this lesson the prototype panel is located on the right hand side of a figma's interface to add a connection you need to find a circular node by hovering over the frame or a particular element and then you can add a connection you can remove a connection between two frames by dragging the arrow outside the frames always remember trigger is the main point where the interaction starts before finalizing your prototype always check what frame you are navigating to Click on the play icon to open presentation view in a new tab and you can access the play icon from the right hand side of the main menu. Have a wonderful day ahead and see you guys in the next video.